again everybody, this is Amergan and you're very welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Fleet Command and the next part in this complete walkthrough guys of the USS Franklin PVE, the threat from beyond and the swarm events guys. We'll crack on and see if we can finally manage to grind out this PVE event before it finishes. Okay guys, so we're, we have nine minutes left on this event. It's uh, it's very, very tight, guys. Um, I have two ships down. I have the Legionary and the Centurion down, passive grinding down in augment space. The Suliban Elite, the Suliban uh, Bounty Hunters are after me. Getting points for this event. Eight minutes, 50 seconds to go. Um... I have a couple of hundred points to get. I'm going to try and get this out of the last one. 240 points to get. So that's, a, that's 12, 12 of these level 32s. Hopefully the passive grinding will add to that. Um, I'm here in Kaisu trying to get the end of this done. I might just about make it. Fingers crossed. Should that be the case, guys... Um, I'll take back a little bit of what I said about this being uh, impossible for free to play. It's uh, it's difficult, but not impossible. Uh, and a wee shout out to uh, some of the guys that are free to play that were commenting uh, on the videos about. I'm going to hit a 33 here. Um, commenting about how they managed to do this event free to play. It's not impossible. But there was a lot of content dumped at us all in one go. It split the time and the focus. And I'm hoping in these dying minutes of this event that we can bring you guys the footage of completing it. And should we do that, then Panic can take back the blueprints that I've accrued. I'll admit, guys, uh, I've been biting my nails here. It's, it, it is a little bit tense. For that purpose, I, I suppose I'm enjoying it. Um, it's edge of the seat stuff for me. I'm sitting here in a mad rush to try to get everything sorted out so that I could get this last bit of grinding done. I've spent a wee bit of time grinding on it, as any of you guys who watched the previous videos will see that... Uh, I had a significant chunk of that event to go and we've caught up with it rightly. That should be, should be her down under 150 now. Now thankfully this uh, Saladin is well fit to take out these, uh, these hostiles at this level. I wouldn't want to be stuck in a situation where I'd have to be going and repairing and sending a ship back um, with travel time and all of that involved. So once again guys, I'd love to hear your experiences on this event, how difficult you found it. Come into Discord and all of that, share your experiences, leave your comments below. Four minutes. Two more hostiles should see us done. So this is how close it is, guys. This is how close it has come for me. Um, literally less than five minutes of a difference. If I had been delayed in traffic earlier on today, or if I had been attending to real life stuff, five minutes would have made all of the difference here. So I'll retract a little bit around saying that it's impossible, like I mentioned. There she is, 22 blueprints on the Franklin and a variety of other resources. PVE event completed with 2 minutes 50 seconds on the clock. Uh, so cutting it fine to say the least there, guys. Um, I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to take a wee nosy in at the ships. Uh, when Panic gave me the blueprints, I'm not actually sure how many he gave me. So this will indicate, so there's 80, so he gave me 80 blueprints, so shout out to Panic, thanks very much lad, 
Uh, you can have them 80 blueprints back if you want. I'm 10 shy of a second Franklin now uh, on account of that. Um, the reason it's 80 out of 90, of course, is because Panic awarded me 80, 80 of these blueprints to build it in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. And with two minutes to go, we'll have a quick nosy at what else is here. So the officer recruitment event, the threat from beyond the leaderboard, which I'm 71 in that. That's to attack any swarm clusters. We'll probably not have time to get stuck into that and improve our position anymore. And this is what I mean. If I had been focusing on this event, for example, I wouldn't have had the time to finish the PVE for the Franklin. Not that I needed to do it, but I did say in a previous video that I would continue to grind on to see if it were possible. I suppose I could have just given up, said, screw it, I've got the blueprints, um, they were handed to me, um, I'd done it the easy way, I didn't have to grind, but I didn't want to do that, guys. I wanted to remain authentic to all of you guys and try to grind and keep at it, and I've just about achieved it there. Um, rank 71 on this, measly enough rewards, 35k, wouldn't even repair one of the good ships. Pointless in prioritizing that. Variety of different officer events there. Power steel mining. We'll come back and have a video there on the, these mining expeditions. I've heard that they're not available on other servers. I'd be very keen with you guys to tell me have any of you seen these power steel, dilithium, all of that, those mining exp expeditions on your server as an event? Most people are telling me they're not there. Uh, and then, of course, the final one here has been added in, and we mentioned to this, uh, we have another two days of this, so the, the swarm event stuff isn't really over technically, I suppose, for another two days. Who knows when this ends in a minute or two, they might give us something in terms of a bonus round or something, it's possible. Um, the communication always is the issue, remember, that uh, these things don't get announced too handy. We get some surprise deals sometimes. So there it is ending. Another officer event after kicking in. Research event. Parseal was there already. Mega Miner special. Solo mining event. The Romulan reputation. Always there as a daily anyway. And I might do a video on my research tree shortly. Some people have been asking me about my research tree. Um, and I've got, uh, you can see, I've got nearly 16 million uh, dilithium there. There's a reason for that. I'm saving that up. So it shields up, protect that, them resources. So 35k, we'll take it anyway. And we'll crack on now and complete the mission storylines. Hopefully able to get some more biominerals and see how we go with that. So guys, an interesting little piece of information just while we were looking at the change to the events when the threat from beyond ended. Um, it came to my attention uh, that uh, this event um, has gone on one of the live servers to be tested. We don't all have it. It remains to be seen as to whether we will all get the like of this. Uh, I believe Hal9000 has done a video on it. I have yet to watch the full video, so apologies, Hal. I'll get round to that soon. But I'm going to put the link below. You guys can check out how Hal is doing with this. He'd certainly, I'm sure, have more information about it if this is what it, he's dealing with on his server. So a wee shout out to Thaler as well, who's a regular contributor in the comments below. Um, he's been calling for a uh, testing to be done on servers now it's not quite exactly what Thaler and others have been talking about but it's great to see that Scopely are actually testing these kind of things on other servers you may or may not like the idea of this event um, it matters little to me whether it's this event or any other event what I'm pleased to see here is that new events new ideas that's being floated about they're being tested first before they're landed on top of us that's always very welcome um, that the guys on that server are able to polish this up a little bit before it's uh, 
before it's leaked out to the masses in, in a sense. So thanks to the guys that have sent me information on all sorts of things in the past. Thanks to the guys that I've obtained this information from. And uh, like I say, take a look at Hal's and we'll come back to uh, this kind of idea and do another video on differences in the founder server and different servers and the different events that are offered and etc. We'll do a special video just on that at a future date. So guys, I have two mining ships en route to do the mining event and while that's happening and there's a little bit of lull in the proceedings, I'm, I've come here to continue on with these uh, new mission lines and we'll do this the same way that we did before in the sense that we'll start her off, set up the trail of breadcrumbs and uh, we'll come back toward the end of the video. Sorry, towards the end of the storyline during the video. So there's Active 1 completed. 200 Biominerals, thank you very much. So when you get to this point in Naya Willen, guys, um, this mission here becomes available. You, you complete that uh, All for One or whatever it was called. And you come in here for Predatory. You have to have the previous ones that we covered in the earlier, uh, the earlier part of the series. Containment Protocol done and uh, level 26. So uh, we're going to accept that. And I expect this would be the second last video in this particular series, guys. Um, we'll do a couple of these in this one. And be sure then to look out for the final section, or what I hope to be the final section, where I'll invite Billy back to do a review of the entire event, how, how we felt it went. Um... The pros and the cons to the various bits of new content, the new daily events, all that kind of stuff, new daily uh, targets that are allowing us to get loyalty tokens and this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, this uh, this section's taken us now to the first part of this predatory is taking us to the level twenty six system of Alpha Harunia, and I'll be back, guys at the end of this particular sequence. So guys, we're coming to the end of this predatory storyline. Destroy this group. And the last section of predatory And 12 seconds on that, and we will pick up the start of the next mission. So some well-known faces there. The next one is I am not easy to find. More Jela shards there, guys. Officer EXP. And this Cyberpathic Nexus. So we got the uh, officer shards there. Um, sorry, uh, recruit tokens there for the um, Ultra Officers. And that last one. And we'll pick this one up in a few moments. So guys, there's the end one of I'm Hard to Find. And uh, destroy this swarm group. So we'll do that. See what pops up next. And so we've got Jayla onto the ship. I'll flick quickly through this. And collect these rewards. So 15 
shards for Jela, 130 in total. Quite a large amount of shards needed for this officer. Let's see what comes up next. Spirals in the sky. Into 28 or tech. And we'll be back at the end of this sequence also. So guys, there's spirals in the sky finished. Uh, 200 biominerals and 160 explorer parts. And the next one in this storyline is lost in translation. You see it's the mystery box there is the reward so there'll be a choice, a decision to make in this. And we'll be back with that shortly. So there's the choice in this guys, it's a bit of a no brainer for me. Repair speed ups and titanium outweighs the, the power steel and the speed ups. So I'll be going for that. So surprise, surprise, guys! Just after I done that last little bit um, a second ago, uh, I went to complete it, thinking it was three left. The last two sections of this uh, repeated; they were exactly the same. Um, the same text came up, or whatever. Let me know if that happens to you. Very surprising to see a bug in this game. Um, it's usually very smooth and, and and no bugs there to report. But we found one. Um, a rare occasion guys, uh, one for the record books, note it, mark it, mark the time, mark the video, uh, come back to this, if anybody ever says that uh, Scopely uh, and their products don't have bugs in their games, uh, come back to this moment and you will very easily be able to prove that there are actually bugs in this game, there, there it is, two in a row, exactly the same, we'll crack on and collect these rewards, start the next section. Not sure where this even ends, but 22 repair speed ups, 50 minute repair speed ups, very nice. Spent a lot of them repair speed ups uh, doing the PVE event to get the Franklin. Not that I uh, needed to do that, but I wanted to uh, do the grind, see how I get on. So I see clearly is uh, the next section. Uh, Afritalis. So guys, we've reached another decision here. Um, kill the agent to return to the station. Um, I think I'm going to go for the return to the station because you get uh, officer shards there and some uh, it's either ship or officer EXP. So we'll choose that. See what's left on this particular storyline. One to go, return to the station. Now a wee trick there on returning to the station guys, uh, I have a ship nearby already, that's going to take two minutes. So just for the purposes of this video, I have this ship out mining, any ship can return to your station of course and complete that mission. So we'll do that and be back with the next bit of this storyline. We'll see what that is now, collect these rewards and see what that is. And then we go. An island without a sea. And that kicks off in Alpha Harunia level 26 system. So guys, we've reached a decision point in this particular portion of the storyline and this is the first time that I have seen three different options. Um, I'm going for the crystal, so I'm gonna destroy the independent. Nothing personal. You see where we're at with this. 
And I'm going to finish off an island without a sea. I think there's like another four storylines, another four missions after this, guys. So what I intend to do is I'm going to try and get a hold of Billy tomorrow. Um, part of this event, the, uh, the Biomineral Heroic will be ending around then. So I'll get a hold of Billy and uh, we'll do a review on this um, and I'll finish off them four storylines with that, them four missions with that and uh, that'll be the final section on this guys um, that'll be uh, the end of uh, this particular swarm event threat from beyond stuff you'd imagine unless they come back in, in a, at a future date with uh, with some of the uh, blueprints again in, in, in some other type of event which you'd expect to happen we see that the North Star event uh, sorry the North Star blueprints are available again in the store and we'll take a quick look and see if we can see them and uh, I've done if you go back and look at the uh, my video number nine in the series way 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 back to January um, you'll see that the uh, I've got some of the early uh, upgrade requirements, upgrade costs on this. Um, maybe the bill costs and stuff like that. It's a while ago, guys, but um, if you're thinking about buying this North Star, if you haven't got it already, you can go back and take a look at that. Mine's at tier 4 at the moment, and I'll, uh, I'll be able to provide you with one or two screenshots of that stuff if you come into Discord and take a wee look. I've already stuck a few up there. Um... Yeah, the North Star is back for sale, blueprints and all of that there. So I don't see why the Franklin wouldn't become available again at some point in the future. Maybe with through an event or otherwise we'll see. So there's an island without sea completed. And that starts the next one, of course. Which is Needle in a Haystack. And that is located in Rator 29, right beside my base. So this is where we're going to leave this one. And I'll pick up Needle in a Haystack tomorrow, guys. Uh, this has been quite a long series, uh, typically compared to what I usually do. Let me know if it worked for you guys. Let me know if you liked the way that I went through it in, in as much detail as I could. Um, it's the first time I've done it like this. I've covered a number of different events in the past. Um, I don't mind doing it like this in future um, if that's what people want. Um, I'm refining as I go along, so I'll make changes and whatever else. But there it is, guys. We'll do the final part of that tomorrow and uh, hopefully catch Billy or some of the guys to come in and help do a wee bit of a review on this. And until then, guys, look after yourselves, look after each other, and I will catch all of you guys then. Cheers.